I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, in the High Uintas, Utah's premier area of pristine wildness. A great place to just get out and get away from it all. Except this time of year, when the city moves to the mountains. It looks like an RV sales lot on dirt. They pour in for the fall ritual, the opening of the Utah deer season. And while they may be armed, only a small fraction of the people are hunters. Well, you know, we got about 10 of us up here, but only, only three with tags. For the DeGray party, the opening weekend is much more than the actual hunt. The experience is like just one last trip for the majority of the people who don't like the cold weather. So they come out with us one last time and we just have a great time being together. And I have long thought that this event is just an excuse to fire up the wheelers for one last trip to the backcountry, even after the prime riding season is over. It's so busy, there are traffic jams even way up here. We just love the outdoors. We love each other, just out having a good time. The ladies stress that they may not be hunting, but they're not here to do any heavy lifting. If somebody gets a deer, do you get to help uh, haul it and cut it and do all that kind of stuff? Nope, that's that one's not me. But they do have an important role to play. We're the bad luck charms, so they <laughs> don't get a deer. Oh. <laughs> as many as 90,000 hunters will be chasing Bambi's dad this fall, but many times that number join them for the late season outing. Matthew Crook of Eagle Mountain has brought the young ones to the mountains. We are just hanging out as a family. We're going to enjoy some time by the fire, throw the uh, football around with the kids, um, play in the dirt. We just go hunting. Sometimes we go fishing, but I like throwing the football and sitting by the campfire. While Scott Ruby of Tooele has brought some not so young ones, his parents, Kimball and Sharon. Quality time together and then this is usually our last camping trip of the season. But for the Robinsons, it's a chance to get away. It's more the outing and spending time with my husband. Sure. Yeah. One-on-one -on -one time without the kids. Oh, that's <laughs> where are the kids? They're at home, grandma's. Grandma's got the kids, huh? Yeah. But first, they've got to get the chainsaw working to cut some firewood. She helping you with the chainsaw? Uh, yeah, she's giving me instructions. All day long, they keep coming. And why not? With blue skies and temperatures in the 60s, it's a perfect fall day in the high country. Yeah, it's, it's been my first, first time. It's, it's pretty exciting already. Jeff Carlin is only 12 years old, but that's old enough to hunt and dad couldn't be prouder. It's boys? a family experience. I've done it for decades and I'm getting my son into it now and it's a great experience. So the city moves to the mountains for one last gasp of fair weather outdoors fun. Swan song of the fall in song, the summer swan season. Swan song of the fall. Reese Stein at your leisure on a balmy autumn day in the Uinta Mountains. And oh, by the way, with Ashley's expert instruction, the Robinsons did get that chainsaw going. <laughs>